Sell, sell. What does this do? Restriction mage. Hello. Alright, we'll keep you. Plus four attack, we'll keep you. Alright, we'll keep you. We'll keep you. Grandmaster Lightning Rune, we'll keep that. We'll keep all the runes for now. Keep the gifts. Don't really need to keep the emeralds. Right, private documents, blank vellum. Alright. There we go. Uh, oh, let's see what he has that I might want. Oh, I lost my uh, herbalist, didn't I? No, I lost my ability to make health poultices. Alright, that's fine. I'm sure I will be able to recover that in time. Aesthetic freeze trap. Hello. I might actually just get you. It's a freeze traps, mild sleeping gas trap, large shrapnel trap. I might buy all of these. I love me some traps. Alright, um... Backpack? Ah, yes, please. Manual shadow. <gasps> Ooh. Yes, please. What's this? Uh, to a suitable shield. Yeah, okay. I don't even know what that's for. Um, let's buy all of the traps. All of them. You. And you. You. Love it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hang on a second. Let's see if anyone has. Oh, first of all. Um, did I? I do have one more specialization. Cool. I'm going to choose that. Next. Okay. Uh, skills. Who has herbalist? You do. You have herbalist three. You should definitely be able to make uh, health poultices. So, uh, I need you in my party before I can do such things, though. If I remember. Should we get? I wish I could tell the first enchanter I'm a Grey Warden now. Maker, I hated that bastard. <laughs> the Tower of Magi has sent me as an ambassador, Commander. Oh, okay. In addition to my diplomatic function, I'm a competent enchanter and runesmith. Is there anything you need? Ah, uh, yes. I'd like to have something enchanted. Do you have any runes for sale? Certainly. What do you have for sale? Ooh. Stuff. Lots of tracings, lots of tracings. All right, um. All right, I don't need that right now, but I do have. May I be of service? Uh, something enchanted. Of course. Oh, I miss my enchantment. Enchantment. That's paralysis. Alright, we're gonna put you there. I will accept. And then... Which one? You do not, you do, so I'm gonna replace you with you. There we go. Okay. So... I need to determine if I can make health poultices or not. I think I can. I bought it in the last game, so I should still have the ability to make it. Uh, I need to leave first, I guess, select my party, and then determine where to go from there. 
But I plan to use the same strategy as before, which is heal the hell out of everything. <laughs> because it works! It's genius! Uh, I choose yes. you. And you. Okay. So I'm going to step outside, see what he needs to make his health poultices, and then buy lots of it. I know it's elf root. I think it's distiller agent, empty vials, and I think something else I don't remember. Blimey, Commander of the Grey. Right. A while back, they caught a thief in the vigil. Took four wardens to capture him. Gave one of the wardens a black eye, he did. Half joking, they said he might make a good recruit. Uh, okay, where is this thief now? He's in the dungeon, sir. I also have some letters. Arrived just before you did. Okay, show them to me. Just give me a moment. <laughs> I don't have them with me. I, I just said that I have them. I, okay, I'll go get them. Uh, daughter ransomed. Commander of the Grey. I am Sir Edgar Binsley, a faithful vassal. My daughter, the sole heir, Eileen, has been kidnapped by mostly the snake's vile lot of miscreants. My fief is a small and my means meager, and they have demanded 30 sovereigns in a time frame I cannot meet. I pray you will intercede on my behalf. The ransom is to be delivered to the abandoned chantry in Forlorn Cove. If you produce the ransom, I swear by my faith of Andraste that I will repay you in time. And you, my gentle daughter, you and my gentle daughter go with my prayers. Yeah, sure. We'll take care of that. Far afield. Most honored commander, ever since... Oh, I'm sorry. Most honored commander, ever since my husband passed, I have been looking after my family and the hired hands. But the dark spawn have been getting worse. We have a Templar who checks on us occasionally, but there's a limit to what he can handle. If you can help my family, we'll tell Lord Edelbrick, your friend. I fear we may not have much time. Good wife, Alina Turnoble. We'll tell him that you're a friend. I mean, never mind that you're the savior of this entire land. That's got nothing on this good wife's recommendation. I tell you what. That with us, we're going to do it. Okay. Seriously, though. Um, what do I need? Lesser health poultice? No. Greater health poultice. I need elf root, flask distillation agent, and concentrator agent. Okay. That's what I need. Elf root, flask distillation agent, concentrator agent. Got it! Alright. What? No, I... What? I just spoke to you guys. You can't have anything new to say. I just walked out that door you and came back in. Anything, Commander? I do! I need stuff. I have a shopping list. I need... Flasks. First of all, I need flasks. Where are your flasks? No, I need flasks, dude. Empty. Empty flasks. Please tell me you have empty flasks. Oh, come on! You gotta have empty flasks! What a jip! Where am I supposed to get empty flasks? <laughs> no! Or elf root, for that matter. Use dis distillation and concentrator. But it doesn't have any elf root. Hang on, let me actually see. Um... My god. Alright. So if I were to buy, say, 99 of these. Alright. That's 14. Thirty-five. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Let's buy... 20. No, 50. Yeah, let's do 50. Let's do 50. Okay. And then when we have elf root and empty vials, we'll have plenty of 
health poultices. And there's my money. There goes all my money. It's all right, we'll get more. It's called loots, and I know how to acquire it. I'm here to serve, Commander. Okay. Uh, uh, um, uh, um, uh, can you do anything to resupply our soldiers? I will do what can be done, but you would be wise to keep alert for trading possibilities in your journeys. If you can persuade any merchants to trade here, it would benefit the vigil considerably. Got it. I'm on it. Very well, Commander. I'm on it. I would like it to convince you to trade here. What? Yes? Cool. Done. Can I get my quest now? <laughs> Can I turn in my quest? What? I convinced him to trade here. Give me my stuff. Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come to swear fealty to you and the Grey Wardens. Okay. These were our Rendon House vassals. Now they will be yours. Oh, joy. Uh, what do I need to know about them? Uh, he's not s naive enough to think that just because they're his vassals means that they shared his common goals. Some of these lords bore Rendon no love, but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Tread carefully, Commander. Okay. Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Isle of Amaranthine. Commander. Uh, our differences are many, but our cause is one. Ban Esmeral of Amaranthine. As is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmeral, will be faithful to the Arl in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. Never will I bear arms against him or his heirs. So I say, in the sight of the Maker. She looks like the Wicked I Witch of the West. I promise that I, Lord Edelbreck. And so, the ceremony is complete. Long live the Warden Commander! Yay, brown nosing! Not very comfortable with that. More to say, have you? Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Uh, I should get back to mingling. Now, uh, who do I need to know here? There's really only two who can offer real support in the war. Lord Edelbrick, master of the Firavel Plains, controls more farmland than anyone else. He's powerful and popular. Ban Esmeral rules the city, wealthiest in the room by far. She may not be loved, but she cannot be ignored. Okay. Mingle I shall. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. Really? That's all you've got to say? Honor to meet you, Warden Commander. You come to us during desperate times. Not more about your precious farms, Edelbreck. Some in our Arling do not have the comfort of city walls. On the plains, the situation is dire. As we feast, the peasants on our lands are starving, or worse. The city's defenses are more important, Edelbreck. There may be wheat in the silos now, but if the farmers die, where will you get your food? Um... I doubt your pleas are entirely altruistic. Darkspawn must be focus of my attention. I will send the soldiers wherever they most need it. No, I doubt your pleas are entirely altruistic. Oh, no, he's not going to insult the guy. I'll take the matter under advisement. Thank you, my liege. No, because I agree. Um... He's absolutely right. Just because he may have a personal stake in the matter doesn't change that. Alright, who else we got here? Lord Guy! You know. It's an honor to have you as our liege, come on. He's just some guy. Warden Commander, we've all heard so much about you. So many good things, unbelievable things. But many of your deeds cost people here a chance at great advancement. So many fortunes were deeply intertwined with the old Arl. Some nobles here, they seek to end your dominion over them. <laughs> Look, Asp. Well, I'm used to it, I suppose. There's much I've gathered already. That's a serious accusation. I wish I was less certain, sir. I've had occasion to intercept some of their missives. They are cryptic things. Any individual message is unintelligible. 
but together they form a pattern. They mean to end you before you can begin. A deadly coalition. Ooh. A conspiracy to murder me. I'm flattered. I would take this matter seriously, Warden. They know of your capabilities and they're spending a fortune to see their aims fulfilled. Given a few days, I can retrieve the messages. I would have brought them tonight, but I didn't know if warning you would be wise. I've much to lose and precious little to gain. Farewell. We will meet again soon. All right. Have fun. I take it seriously, but come on, lady. I had arch demons trying to kill me. I, I mean, well, I'm not saying that they're not a serious threat. I'm just saying that, uh, yeah, I've seen better. Um, is that it? I see that Lord oh. Edelbrecht wastes no time in canvassing you for soldiers to defend his farms. Do not be deceived, Commander. His livelihood is all he cares about. Amaranthine is the jewel of the Arling, and she must be protected. Why protect the city over the country, folks? Pragmatism. A farming hovel can be rebuilt with straw and mud. Amaranthine was built over generations. If she falls, then this great Arling will be diminished. Wealth is well and good, but what measure do you put to human life? The folk in the country outnumber your city dwellers many times over. I would not be so vulgar as to violate the decorum of this event. Commander? Yeah, I was about to say, I can rebuild farming hovels with mud and brick, but I can't rebuild farmers with mud. You, th That's the important one there. The farmers. <laughs> Unless we use golems to farm. Can we... Hey, can, hey, can we use golems to farm? I, that's a no. That's that's a no. We can't use we can't use golems, everyone. Yeah. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Uh, Edelbrecht says we're not defending the farmlands. Edelbrecht speaks truly, sir, but things are dire. He and Ban Esmeral both contest the deployment of soldiers, but we don't have enough men. It's a matter of what you want to protect: the city, the land, trade. Uh... No, look, I like trade. Don't get me wrong. I like trade. I would love to do our best to protect them all, but that's naive thinking. Here's the thing. Amaranthian has its walls. Trade is important, but trade is worthless if the people are dead. Protect the farmers. Protect as many lives as we can. As you wish. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. I have heard of a conspiracy against me. Do you know the conspirators? The right of high justice is yours, and treachery is a capital offense. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, she's bringing some evidence. She's a sly one, Sir Tamra, but knowledgeable about such things. Better to be a touch paranoid than turning up face down in a ditch. To proceed, we'd need strong proof, and that'll be hard to gather. There are options, some I would not recommend. They could turn the nobles fierce. But Ogryn ends up face down in a ditch all the time. He seems to be fine. <laughs> Tell me about them. We could have some soldiers try to spy on the nobility. I suppose that might bear fruit. Yeah. There are also rumors of someone called the Dark Wolf, who finds information for a fee. Okay. Dangerous fellow, by all accounts. Alright. What are the soldiers' odds of success? Not leading likely, in truth. Good men. Lousy spies. Makes sense. Where can I find this Dark Wolf character? No idea, honestly. Somewhere in the foreign quarter of Amaranthine is all I know. And what would you recommend? You could invite a member of each of the noble families to stay as prolonged guests. And if anything untowards happens, well, you get the picture. This is a terribly Orlesian thing to do. Ooh. No, no, I'm not gonna do that. I, uh,. I don't want to go to underhanded things. I know Liliana would be all for it, but uh, I 
rather trust my companions and myself. If anyone moves against me, we'll deal with them. But I will see if I can find this dark wolf. I do like to have information. You need to head to the city then, and chase down a ghost. Yep. Yep. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Uh, it's gone on long enough. As you wish, Commander. Clear the hall. The Commander has business to attend to. Yes. I do. Okay, um... <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, whoa. Alright. Okay. Looks like we've got stuff to do. Uh, okay, him and. Okay, fine. Yes. I'll regret it in the morning, I know, but. <laughs> I don't know who to take. There's so many choices. Alright, to the dungeon. Wait, what's, uh, okay. Lots of people to talk to. Okay, then. I don't mean to alarm you, Commander, but it's possible there are still darkspawn in the vigil. Okay. Mm, Captain didn't mention anything about that. Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Oh, yeah. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. Wait, wait, there were bombs? I thought the darkspawn exploded. Mm. <laughs> I'm good at killing darkspawn, but not at digging. We have men who can unearth the rubble at your command. Whenever you're ready, I can take you to the basement. Let's do it! Straight away, sir. That's a pretty serious threat. Let's let's take care of that before it becomes a thing. Let's uh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I head off to Elysia and then a whole group of darkspawn fight their way out. I come back and everyone's dead. Here we are. The vigil goes deep, real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades. And that blasted Dworkin's explosives didn't do the structure any favors. Years and decades, you say? All right, um... Have they cleared the rubble? You heard the commander. Put your backs into it. This is where you come in. Who knows what's up ahead? I'd we'll help you guys, here. but I'm an elf. I've got delicate hands. Meant for slaughter. Oh, hey, let's level up my peeps. Um, uh, you are leveled up. You just oh no, hello. Oh yeah, no, I said I was gonna save this until you hit level twenty-four. That's why. Um, ooh, hello. I could give you. We'll go with uh, this one. I really don't know what to do with you. We'll wait again. Uh, you do have one more spell you can unleash. What's this one? While this mode is active, the caster radiates an aura of weakness, hindering nearby enemies with penalties to attack and defense, unless the opponent's pass. Ooh, hello. I'll go with that, because I like mass paralysis. All hostile targets in the area are paralyzed for a short time, unless they pass a physical resistance check, in which case their movement speed is reduced instead. Death Cloud, what? Uh, Caster summons a cloud of leeching energy, deals continuous spirit damage to all who enter friendly fire possible. Um, force field, immune to damage for the duration of the spell but cannot move, friendly fire possible. While this mode is active, Caster enchants the party's 
melee weapons with telekinetic energy that increase their armor penetration. The bonus to armor penetration is based on the caster spell power and provides greater damage against heavily armored foes. The caster encloses the target in a collapsing cage of kinetic force, inflicting spirit damage for the duration, possibly shattering those who've been petrified solid. Bell bloom. Mm. I want to go for this uh, swarm because that's really good for casters. So let's go there and then we'll get the swarm next time. So wait, how come what do you, you want now? But not you. What am I missing? Oh yes, this that I'm waiting. Okay, that's why you still said you need to level up because I'm waiting to spend that on one of these. Okay, let's do this. Mage, huh? What's it like to have all this power in my fingertips? Oh. No, to always have to wear a skirt. <laughs> oh, you don't know the story behind the robes. You know how strict things are in the circle, right? Well, of course you do. Well, the robes make quick trysts in the corner easy. No laces or buttons, you're just, well, you're done before the Templars catch on. Really? Just ask anyone. <laughs> Ogren's gonna start wearing a skirt. I can see it now. Of course. <gasps> Chewy? Oh, not Chewy. Try to comfort the dog. Oh. Oh. A woman named Adria writes that she has taken refuge in the lower levels of the keep. Okay. No, oh, poor puppy. Right, let's go. You know, actually, before doing this, hang on a second, everyone. They said something about a a, a fourth party member in the dungeon. Perhaps we should grab them before we go into said uh, dangerous area. Just a thought. And so I shall. You know, having an archer might not be such a bad thing. I think I would prefer just another fighter. One mage, two fighters, and a thief sounds like a good plan to me. But I'll take what I can get. What's this? A dungeon. Yes. Maybe two mages, but that makes the party a bit squishy. Two good, strong fighters to tank damage, the thief to do DPS, and the mage to do, well, a plethora of things. Ooh. I'll take all of that. Ah, Commander. Good thing you're here. This one's been locked up three nights now. Good men died while this one was protected in his cell. Who is he? He won't give his name. All I know is he was caught poking around the estate in the middle of the night. I'd say he was just a thief. But it took four Grey Wardens to capture him. You best be careful. Whoever he is, he's no ordinary burglar, that's for sure. All right, leave me to talk with him. As you wish, Commander. I'll tell the Seneschal you came. He'll want to know what you decide to do with this man. All right, a fellow thief, eh? All right. If it isn't the great hero, conqueror of the blight and vanquisher of all evil, aren't you supposed to be ten feet tall with lightning bolts shooting out of your eyes? Oh, that's only on Tuesdays. It's Thursday. So <laughs> wait about four days. The uh... are you trying to insult me? Somehow, I just thought that my father's murderer would be, uh, more impressive. 
I am Nathaniel Howe. My family owned these lands until you showed up. Do you even remember my father? Well, of course I remember your father. Um... Your father brought his end on himself. My father served the hero of Riverdane and fought against the Orlesians. Yet our family lost everything. I came here. I thought I was going to try to kill you. To lay a trap for you. But then I realized I just wanted to reclaim some of my family's things. It's all I have left. Um... Just how much do you know about your father? If you're asking whether I knew what he was up to, the answer is no. I was squired in the free marches. Look, I know you're a hero. You fought a war and you won, and to the victor go the spoils, right? Whatever my father did, however, shouldn't harm my whole family. The Howes are pariahs now. Those of us left. It's all thanks to you. And now you get to decide my fate. Ha. Ironic, isn't it? Hmm... Uh, I understand we had trouble capturing you. I'm not without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. Okay. Do you really hate me so much? The Darkspawn are a menace. If it weren't for the Blight, maybe my father would never have done what he did. But I can't do anything about them, can I? There's just you and the Grey Wardens here in my home. What will you do if I let you go? If you let me go? Uh, I don't know. I only came back to Ferelden a month ago. If you let me go, I'll probably come back here. You might not catch me next time. Um, uh, You're not making the best case for yourself. I could lie, if you prefer. Uh, perhaps you should work to redeem your name. You're right. I'll go join King Alistair's service immediately. He'd be certain to give a how another chance. Ah, uh, your family only has itself to blame for his troubles. That's not true. I agree with the fact that he shouldn't be penalized for his father's sins. I've decided what to do with you. Already? Good. Have I? I brought the Seneschal for you, Commander. I see you've spoken to our guest. Quite the handful, isn't he? Have you decided what's to be done with him? Did you know he was Nathaniel Howe? A uh, Howe? He figures that they would turn up again. The Howes are implacable enemies, Commander. Uh... Hmm. So here's the deal. I would like to let him go, because I don't think Eoclaw thinks that he should pay for what his family did, what his father did. On the other hand, he has been completely honest with me and said that if I let him go, he'll probably just come right back and who knows what he'll do next time. And I honestly, I'm dealing with the blight problem. The last thing I need to do is shoot myself in the foot by letting someone go who could possibly cause me great harm. I don't want to kill him, though, because he hasn't really done anything wrong except go into his own home and try and take his own stuff. Conscribe him, release him. Conscribe him, release him. Conscribe him, release him. You know what? Here's the honest truth, and here's the way I kind of look at this. He hasn't done anything wrong. He came into his own home Sure, maybe he wanted to kill me, but he chose not to. All he wanted to do was take his family stuff. That's not stealing. If if someone, if I were to come home and find that the police had suddenly taken my apartment over and it was completely unjustified, and I snuck in to steal uh, to take my personal belongings back, I'm not sure I would consider that thievery. I'm also not going to conscribe him because, damn, that's a hell of a punishment. I mean, being a Grey Warden, it's, it's, it, that's a hell of a punishment. You, you gotta drink the juice, and if that doesn't kill you, then you'll hear the Darkspawn, and you'll be attracted to him, and you'll eventually go mad and die. 
The truth of the matter is, I can't see any wrong that this guy has done. And as such, I can't really punish him or continue to imprison him. Even if it shoots me in the foot, I have to be... Uh, fair. I have to, you know... If I don't, if I don't do the just thing, how can I possibly be a good ruler? So release him. I'll just come back, you know. I would advise against that. Put him on the road. Make sure he keeps walking. Come on, you. Be thankful the commander is so merciful. I hope you know what you're doing, commander. What? He didn't do anything wrong. At least this way. I know some people might not be happy with this choice. Like, you could conscribe him. Yeah, but conscription is... I mean, again, that's a hell of a punishment, right? At least this way, he has the freedom to choose his own actions. If he decides to try and come back and kill me or whatnot, we'll Good deal luck. with it then. But I'm not going to punish a man who hasn't done anything wrong yet. I'm not all about the preemptive punishment. 